Firstly, I want to say thank you to Connor from The Closet for starting such a fun tag. It is the five designer items that we would not buy. And if you haven't seen Connor's video already, I'll link it in the description box below. So a number of YouTubers have already done this topic and I agree with most of them. For example, Connor talked about not purchasing designer beauty products and I 100% agree with him. I follow this YouTuber called Dr. Dre. She is an American board certified dermatologist. Her channel is absolutely amazing. And since I've started watching it, I am much better educated about skincare. So now all of my skincare products come from the drugstore. And if you go and talk to a dermatologist, they'll never say to you, go and buy some Chanel hand cream. And like Connor said, a lot of these products have fragrance. Fragrance is highly irritating to skin and if your skin is not in its optimal condition, maybe it's from the fragrance that's in your products. So if you feel that your skin is not particularly optimized, I suggest that you go ahead and watch a dermatologist like Dr. Dre. The other issue that I have about luxury beauty products is that they're consumable. I feel like you use a product up really quickly and it's done. It's kind of like burning money. Another luxury product that has been mentioned by other YouTubers already include technology. I agree and I would never buy luxury technology. Firstly, technology turns over so quickly. Secondly, these products are made by other tech brands and the luxury house just goes and puts a logo on it and then you got to pay all this extra money for it. Hey guys, how's it going? It's Danny. Welcome to another video. So other than the two items that I've already mentioned, there are five other things that I'm going to talk about in this video that I haven't seen mentioned in the other YouTube videos that I've watched. Never is a very strong word. I just cannot foresee myself buying any of these items. I mean, there are other things that are higher up on my wish list. For example, a couple of luxury cars, a jet, a yacht, and two holiday houses, one in Amsterdam and one in Queenstown, before I would ever consider buying these items. And some of these items I have right here, and let's jump straight into the video. So let's go ahead and start with this item right here. It is from Dunhill. I did not purchase this item myself. It was gifted to me by my father-in-law. It's very generous of him. It is a six key ring holder. Obviously very pretty, brand new. I've never used it. So I'm bringing this up because the Louis Vuitton six key ring holder is extremely popular and I would never buy a key ring holder that is like this. I personally find that it is quite bulky and it's just going to take up space in my bag. I personally just have my house keys on a regular keychain. Because I live in Adelaide, I drive everywhere. So I tend to leave my house keys in the car and I never put it in my bag. The next luxury item that I will never buy is a watch from a non-watch brand. So I only have two watches and my first luxury watch was gifted to me by my dad and it's from Omega. My dad is a watch enthusiast and he so kindly bought it for me when I was a teenager. I mean, back then I wanted a guess watch and he's like, no, I'm not buying you a guess. It'll be done in like a few years. And it's true because the watch prior to my Omega watch was a Baby G or a G-Shock, I'm not sure. And that watch was done within 18 months. So he refused to buy me another watch from Guess. And you know what? He's right. My Omega watch is 23 years old. 23 years old. <laughs> um, it's practically vintage. And the cost per wear for that item is probably like a few cents a day. I don't know, because I've worn it for 23 years for at least five days per week. And it's never given me any issues. I've never had to have it serviced. And um, at most, I get its batteries changed. That's about it. I really love my Omega watch because of its really high quality and of course the sentiment that's attached to it. My dad's really attached to it as well. Every time he sees me, he goes, so how's that watch going? I did purchase myself another watch two years ago uh, from Long Jeans and I kind of bought it because uh, I found that during the times when my Omega watch was off having its battery changed, I needed another watch <laughs> to tell the time. If I bought a watch from Chanel, my dad would go like, oh, a new watch, who is it by? I'll be like, Chanel, he's gonna be like, who? The next luxury item that I will never buy myself is luxury decorative homeware. I have this here by George Jensen. I did not buy it myself again. So my husband and I were very lucky to be gifted this item for our wedding. And I'm just going to take it out of its box for you. Just so that it has some time out of its box because it never comes out of this box. <laughs> so it is a fruit bowl by George Jensen. I mean, look at him. He is so fancy. He doesn't go with any of the stuff. 
in my house. A number of times I've taken him out of his box and I've walked around the house to see where I can put him. But everywhere I place him, I feel like I have to upgrade everything around him and I just, I just don't roll in that kind of cash. The next luxury item I will never buy is a brooch that consists just of the logo of the fashion house. For example, a CC brooch or a YSL brooch. I can understand a brooch that's been designed by the fashion house with a certain aesthetic and their logo then incorporated into the aesthetic of the brooch that I get. However, just wearing something that says CC or YSL, I just associate it with livestock branding. So I feel like Chanel has kind of gone like, there you go, you're all mine now. The next luxury item I will never buy is bag charms. You will never, never catch me with a Rodeo or a Louis Vuitton puff. They are just so insanely overpriced and they really hardly serve any function. And they don't spark enough joy in me for me to spend that kind of money. And don't get me wrong, I do own bag charms. I have this one, for example, right here. This one is from ASOS and I think she is totally cute and makes me happy enough. So. There you go. I'll just be like Emily in Paris and I'll have a basic back charm on my back and someone can yell at me, Ingard. So those are just the five items that I'm talking about in this video that I'll never buy. I also did a luxury roast a couple of weeks ago and if you've missed it, certainly go ahead and watch it if you're interested in a laugh. Those are items I will certainly never, never buy. I've had so much fun filming this video and I will be tagging a few of you who I know watch my channel. So certainly check out the description box below to see if your name is there. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a like and also subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed. I would super, super appreciate that. I'm Danny O and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye. Feel free to come and check out the rest of my lifestyle channel. I have three main playlists on my channel, all of which are linked in the description box below. The first one is full of practical tips for parents, especially useful if you're expecting a baby or have really young children. Because I'm really passionate about bilingualism and starting children on more than one language from a really young age, I created this fun playlist dedicated to English Chinese videos for children. And then my third playlist is on fashion where I like to talk about luxury and mindful spending. If you like any of this content, feel free to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you get informed every time I upload a video. Also feel free to follow me on Instagram.